Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Google Classroom application is not working properly when you're accessing it on Google Chrome. So for whatever reason, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the Chrome browser. If it's not already open, just go ahead and open that up. If you have it down in your system tray, you're welcome to. It doesn't really matter to me. However, you would normally feel comfortable opening it up, I suppose. And we're just going to go ahead and actually make it full screen here. So I'm going to select the Maximize option. And we're going to go up to the top right corner and select the Menu icon. And then select More Tools. And then select Clear Browsing Data. You want to set the time range to all time. And you can uncheck the option for browsing history, but cookies and other site data, as well as cached images, you want to delete them. This will sign you out of websites that you've been signed into, so you will need to sign back in. It might be a little bit of a pain, but just, you know, that's what we're going to have to do here and clear out our browsing cookies and cached files. Select so Clear Data. And honestly, it shouldn't take very long for that to take effect. You can just close out of here, relaunch the browser, and then see if that has resolved the problem. One further thing we can attempt here would be to actually go ahead and update our graphics driver. So open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. Double click on the display adapter section. And then whatever display adapter is listed in here, go ahead and right click on that and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer-specific one, I recommend going with it. Otherwise, if you only have a basic driver, you got to go with what you have. And then select Next. Give it a moment, and then it should finish up here. It should say it has successfully updated your drivers. You can click on Close at this point, and then you may want to check for Windows Updates. So if you open up the Start menu, type in Updates, select Check for Updates. And then go ahead and actually check for updates on your system here. So you just would go ahead and actually install anything if there were any available updates. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.